What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And in this next example, we're told that if you invest 2,500 less than two thirds of what your friend invests in a partnership and the total for the partnership is $67,500, how much did each of you invest? So what I'm gonna do is actually introduce two variables. So I'm gonna let X equal the amount that your friend Sorry, I just wrote fried here. Friend invested. And then I'm going to let y equal the amount that you invested, right? That's what we are solving for, the amount that each of you invested. So notice in this case, the total of the partnership is 67,500. So that means the sum of what both of you invest has to equal 67,500. And then notice in the first sentence, we're also given information where we can relate the amount both of you invest. So you invested, and how much you invested is Y. So you invest 2,500 less than two thirds of what your friend invests. So if we take two thirds of what your friend invests, two thirds times what your friend invests, and then subtract 2,500 from that, we would get what you invested. And notice now we got two equations to unknown. So we could actually, the Y is already isolated. We could take this and plug it in here. And then what we can do is we can solve for x. Notice we have an equation here where we could solve for x. Now you don't necessarily have to make two equations. Personally, I like to. You could have just let x equal the amount that um, your friend invested and then got the amount that you invested in terms of x and then just added them and then the total has to be this. Uh, personally, I like to make two equations though. So in this case, what we would do is we would bring this over. So 67,500 plus 2,500 would give us 70,000 like that. And then notice we have one X plus two over three X, which would be three over three X plus two over three X, which would be five over three X like that. We could divide both sides by five over three to get the X by itself. Another way you can do this is, um, let's say we do this. like that, kind of combine these two into one fraction, put the 70,000 over one. Now what you could do is cross multiply. So we would have 70,000 times three, which is 210,000, five X times one, which is five X. And then notice in this case, X would be 210,000 divided by five. And then when we do this here, we would end up getting X equaling 42 thousand like that. So that's the amount that your friend invested. And then to get the amount that you invested, just have to solve for Y and notice here, Y is already isolated. So what we can do, just plug in 42,000 for X, two thirds of 42,000 would give us 28,000. And then 28,000 minus 2,500 would give us um, 25, $25,500. So that there is the amount that you invest in. Notice that if we take this, add it to that, we would indeed get 67,500, right? So that's the amount that you invested. That's the amount that your friend invested. 